Okay, so today I'm going to go over replacing a, 04, a 0603 component when that component is right next to something that you don't want to burn and how it is you can accomplish this without hot tweezers. If you have hot tweezers, this is a much simpler job than if you don't have hot tweezers. But what I notice is that I get a lot of questions on this channel on how to perform certain tasks when people don't have the right tools. And I understand why you don't have the right tools. There's a very limited amount of money that you can make in the beginning off of doing this type of work if you don't have experience and good tools cost good money. So I'm going to use a standard soldering iron here. This is the FM2027 from Hacko with the T15-JS02 tip. And we are going to go over replacing a backlight fuse. And in one of the older model retinas, this is the 13 inch from 2012. And as you can see, the backlight fuse that has the P on it is located right next to a plastic connector. So there is no, there's, there, there's no way in hell I'm going to use my standard hot air method to try and replace this because if I use hot air to try and replace it, I'm going to burn everything and, the, and then I have to replace the keyboard as well as the keyboard connector and no. I'm just checking to see if I still have that banding, uh, tearing shit. No tearing, good stuff. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the iron itself to try and remove this. I'm going to make a nice little pool of solder and I want that nice little pool of solder to hopefully suck up the fuse. So here's what we do. I got my iron at a nice high temperature. It's at 840. Let me just get my air filter over here. So And go. Come on. And boom, fuse is sucked up, right? Good stuff. Now, I'm going to get rid of the solder on one pad only. We're going to get into why this is in a second. Only on one pad am I going to get rid of the solder. So one pad is now fully wicked, and one pad has solder left on it. Now I'm going to get a fuse. So now all of you people who are sending me stuff for no backlight, that's just a fuse. You now have, n that are other stores, you now have no excuses. No, we don't have expensive rework equipment because you can do this with cheap shit. So I'm going to, now I'm going to take the fuse and I'm going to place it on down here. Now the reason I only have it on one is this. I have to heat one of these pads to, s to shove this in, right? Now, if I just try to solder like this, it's not going to be flat on the board. And it's very important to me that this be flat on the board. So I'm going to touch that and then slide my fuse in. This is hard. I can't do it this way because I'll burn the damn connector. There. What a pain in the dick. That's not even remotely close to flat on the board. So we'll just do this. Here we go. Now I pushed it down. Now, I can only, remember, I don't have tweezers. I can only solder on one side at a time, which is why I only put solder on one of the pads. Now, now that it's soldered on one side, I'm just going to make sure that, if, you know, I, I, keep, I kept burning the solder, kept melting it without flux being present, so that's going to be a crappy joint. So I put some flux there, and now I do this, and now I have a nice joint. And I also pushed down while I was doing that to ensure that it's flat in the board. Now I'm going to take my iron, some fresh solder, Make sure there's some flux on the other side. I'm going to do this. And this is kind of hard. I can't get the angle that I want because of the damn connector in the way, but bam. Now that looks like shit, right? So there's still enough flux there that I can clean the eye and do this. Kind of make it look a little neater. There we go. Now we get to see if this works. This was left for me. Somebody replaced the screen yesterday. And they said that, the, assemb that the, the, the assembly killed the backlight on the motherboard. And this is also a good time to go over how to tell if that's actually true. Now, on this retina, if you look at the schematic, don't ask me where to get the fucking schematic. If you've been watching the channel this long, you'd better, you, you, you should know better than to ask me these types of questions. What we're going to do is we're going to check for a short to ground on the backlight pin of the LCD connector. Now... The backlight pin is going to be pin 1. Pin 1 is going to be what provides backlight voltage. So I have 
my screen plugged in now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check and see if there's a short to ground. I'm just going to change the view here so that you can see the multimeter, which is going to be out of focus because the camera is set to face focus. I'm an idiot that keeps forgetting to take it off face focus when I do these videos. I put it in diode mode. I'm going to take my red probe and put my red probe on ground. And then I'm going to take the black probe and I'm going to put the black probe and so the ground can just be the metal of the connector and the black probe is going to go on pin 1. And as you can see, 0.939, that is not even remotely close to a short to ground, which means I can turn this on and see if I have a backlight now. It is now safe to turn on. Do not turn it on after you replace a fuse without seeing if there's a short to ground, because if there's a short to ground, then it's just going to blow again. So I'm going to plug it in, and I hope that it doesn't blow up. It's got these notes on it that say, Lewis, please fix this before he comes in. Lewis, do not use me. I'm killing backlight. And as you can see, it's not killing backlight. It boots just fucking fine. So that's that. And hopefully you learned something. Yeah, and remember, you don't need the best tools in the world to do this shit. Everybody likes to say, oh, Lewis, you have you, you were born with all these great tools. That's why it's so easy for you. How do you think a college dropout that had no money got to having all of the stuff that I have in my office? I got to having all this stuff because I used what I had at the time to make money so that I could then afford to buy good stuff. I don't want to do stuff the crappy way every single day. I don't. I like to do things the nice way, but if I can't do things the nice way, I will do things with what I have until I can afford better. And that's that.